Hi everyone, we're going to be doing sum and difference of cubes today. Sum and difference of cubes. So example number one, I wrote it down, up down for you, x cubed minus 8. We're going to learn to factor this. It's not that hard. We're going to do what's called a cookie cutter style for this, okay? So step one is going to be something cubed minus something cubed. That's step number one. Very simple. Step number two is we're going to plug in the information here. Well, what cube would equal x cubed? Um, that would be obviously x. And then what eight, uh, What cube would equal 8? Ah, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So there it is. Step 3, this is very important, you drop everything without the parentheses and the cubes. So the first factor is going to be x minus 2. That's the first factor. The second factor is going to be square the first term, which is x squared. Change the sign. This is the only time you change the sign. And then x times 2 is 2x. And then square the last term. It's always going to be plus here. And 2 squared is 4. There you have it. That's our answer right over here. Well, we should check this answer just to make sure, okay? So x times x squared is x cubed. x times 2x is plus 2x squared. x times 4 is plus 4x. Then we use the second term. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared minus 2x squared. You notice how I used the vertical format here to get rid of the x squares? Minus 2 times positive 2x is minus 4x. And minus 2 times plus 8 is minus 8. And we add them up. You notice these cancel out. x cubed minus 8. Check. That was easy, right? So let's try another one a little bit harder this time. Okay, let's make it a lot harder this time. Example number two. 125 x to the, I don't know, 12th minus uh, 729 um, y to the 30th power. Oh, wow, that looks really hard, doesn't it? We use the same cookie cutter, we should, get this, we should make it pretty easy from now. Step number one is going to be something cubed minus, oh, let's put a plus here. Sorry about that. Put a plus. Okay, because we did the difference of cubes, we're going to do the sum of cubes. Times something cubed. So, what, let's look at the coefficient 125. What cubed is 125? Well, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, so it'll be 5. And then, x to what power raised to a third power equals 12? 4. Because x to the fourth raised to the third power is x to the twelfth power. 729. Let's get this one. Hmm. Uh, 8 times 8 times 8. That seems a little bit too small. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. So it should be 9. 9 times 9 times 9 is 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 7, 9 is 729. Let's look at this. y to what power would equal 30th? Ah, y to the 10th raised to the 3rd, power to power you multiply, 10 times 3 is 30 right there. That's step 1 and step 2 combined, okay? Step 3. Well, what do we do now? We drop everything without the cubes. So the first factor is going to be 5 x to the 4 plus 9 y to the 10th and then the second factor is going to be we square the first term 5x to the 4 times 5x to the 4 25x to the 8 change the sign on this one and then we're going to multiply 5x to the 4 times 9x, 9y to the 10th, 
you get 5 times 9 is 45, x to the 4th, y to the 10th, times x to the 4th, y to the 10th, oops, sorry about that, shouldn't be there. And finally, we add the last term, which is 9y to the 10th squared is 81y to the 20th power. There you have it. If we distribute that out, we should get the same answer. So here's the general formula. The formula is a cubed plus b cubed would be a plus b, drop everything without the cubes, square the first term, change the sign, and then multiply these two right here. That's AB and then plus B squared. That is the general formula. And on the other hand, if this is a minus right there, then it's going to be a minus at the bottom. It's going to be a plus in the middle, uh, of middle term of, the, of this trinomial. Good luck. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.